Yubani Kingsley 5. Are you sure your name is in the Book of Life? Part 3. Even as we are talking now, the saints in heaven, the angels, the elders are rejoicing that they human race is almost over and the saints on earth will soon join them in heaven to rest. As we are leaving you now, we are going to other countries to pass the information so that every Christian will know that the race is almost over. But few among millions of Christians are ready for their master. Kingsley, Jesus called me, now take up your cross and follow me and don't look back. Remember Lot's wife in Genesis 19:26. She looked back when she was asked not to and was destroyed. And finally, tell the ministers and the churches to go out and preach the gospel of the truth in order to save themselves and to warn the world of the anger of God that is coming to the world. Add all that I have instructed you this day without delay to the previous one you have published. And the book should not be used for profit making but for the propagation of the gospel. Then Jesus and the two angels left my house, and when I looked at the time, it was 4.30 a.m. Having gone through this testimony, may I ask you, are you sure your name is in the book of life? And whosoever was not found written in the book of life, will be cast into the lake of fire. Revelation 20.15 Please understand that I am not trying to make you look stupid. What I am trying to do is to draw your consciousness into examining your whole life because the way I saw Christian race before is not the way I see it now. Before, I was thinking that as a preacher who always preaches the gospel of Jesus Christ to the core, that my name must be in the book of life until May 13, 2012 when my record revealed that my name was not written in the book of life. My situation is like this, I am somebody that was asked to quit his university education and I diligently obeyed and have been preaching the gospel only to discover that all these years my file was empty, and my name was not found in the book of life. Isn't it strange? It is. Imagine that just because I was not spreading the message the way it should, I was found guilty and was condemned to hell fire if not that Jesus intervened in my case on my way to hell fire. Please let's put whoever and whatever we are by the side and tell the truth. And what is the truth? The truth is that God's standard of making heaven is very high and the way to heaven is too narrow and very slippery. The foundation and standard of God remains as it is. The holiness of God the righteousness of God and the truth of God are all the standard of God for making heaven. Let us stop preaching the word of God in a way that suits us and pleases our audience slash congregation, because God will bring all our work into judgment on the last day. Ecclesiastes 12:14 For God shall bring every work into judgment, with every secret thing, whether it be good, or whether it be evil. Reader, it is high time we called evil evil and sin, sin. Every ungodly appearance, and exhibition, and ungodly talk are punishable under the divine law of God. 1 COR 6 9 10 Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners, shall inherit the kingdom of God. Revelation 21:8 But the fearful, and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake, which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Matthew 12:36-37 But I say unto you, that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. For by thy words thou shalt be justified, and by thy words thou shalt be condemned. Remember, the moment you commit one sin, automatically your name is out of the book of life. Then the question still remains the same, are you sure that your name is in the book of life? May be your name is not there. And as I am telling you now, 
I am not sure whether my name is in the Book of Life, until I get to the judgment platform because my name wasn't there the time the book was opened on 13th of May 2012. Please, don't say, you are already righteous and perfect. And that you don't need to be told to examine yourself. The Bible says, Wherefore let him that think he stand take heed lest he fall 1 Corinthians 10 12. And if you are a Christian who wants to make heaven at all cost, be courageous, the Lord will strengthen you and I till we meet with him. Behold, I come quickly, hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Revelation 3.11 The Bible is real plain, we are all sinners, and whoever will call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Jesus said if you will confess me before men, publicly, then I will in turn confess your name before my heavenly Father and the holy angels. But if you deny me before men, I will deny you. Before my Father. Remember, Jesus hung naked on a cross, in a marketplace, he hung there for you, he endured your shame. If you want to make that decision for the Lord Jesus Christ, then say this prayer. God I believe in you. You are my creator. I am a sinner. I sinned in many ways, willfully, and unconsciously. I've fallen short. I've missed the mark. I'm stained with sin. Jesus I believe in you. You are the eternal Son of God. You're the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Who takes away my sin. I believe you died on a cross, shedding your innocent blood for my guilty soul. I believe you were buried and on the third day you arose. You are alive forevermore. I call you my Lord. I call you my Savior. I give you my life. I will love you, serve you for the rest of my days. I belong to you, the good parts, the bad parts, the sinful parts, all my plans, all my dreams, I give everything to you. Thy will be done in me. I believe. I'm saved. Not by good works, but by faith by trusting in you, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. The end copied from Witness Oquidilish Facebook page.